Right, we start with the big news we brought you in the last half an hour. Mikel Arteta has signed a new contract until the end of the 2024-25 season. Arteta was appointed in December 2019 on an initial three-and-a-half-year deal. The Spaniard has guided the club to fourth place this season with just four games remaining as they bid to return to the Champions League for the first time since 2017. In a double announcement, women's head coach Jonas Eidevel has also signed a new deal until the end of the 2023-24 season. He only joined the club last summer and Arsenal are just a point behind league leaders Chelsea ahead of Sunday's final day in the WSL. Right, welcome Leanne, Stuart, both managers. I mean, goodness me, still have big targets to play for, don't they? But of course, because we have former Arsenal striker Leanne Sanderson with us, what's your reaction to the news? Yeah, it's fantastic, this double announcement, you know, coming on the penultimate weekend of the WSL. It's fantastic, Jonas Edevald's come in there this season, coming in from Joe Montemero, going to Juventus, and he's done a really good job. I mean, obviously, ultimately, when I played for Arsenal, they were used to winning things, we used to win all the time, but teams like Chelsea, Manchester City, you know, they've progressed throughout the years, but I think he deserves a new contract. I think he came in as almost like an unknown from Sweden. He's done a really good job, and obviously, Mikel Arteta, sometimes I guess it does help to be patient with managers, because I think at times... I think when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was coming under pressure and other managers were coming under pressure, Mikel Arteta was almost getting away with it. So I guess they've been patient. If they make the top four, I think it's a really, really good season. So I think both managers certainly deserve these new contracts at this moment in time. Yeah, it was really good to see them announced together, sitting together as well, signing their contracts. And Stuart, uh, the club backing Arteta for his work so far, does it put more pressure or less pressure on him to challenge for the title next season? I think there's always pressure at a club like Arsenal. I think Mikel will know that what comes with the job. But I think, like Leanne said, I think patience has been key for him. And like I said, there was always a point when the, he was under pressure. It looked like he might lose his job. But I think when you watch Arsenal now, they've improved so much. I think they've got a good style of playing, which Mikel's put onto the team. He's on stamp. And, you know, you can see progression there. And they're on course for the top four. So, you know, you have to give a lot of credit to Mikel and his staff and for the club for sort of, you know, backing him and giving him time. 